In the first part, we are asked to answer by T or F, true or false. Let's start from the first one. Is this true or false? We have ED equals to EB as vectors. Is this true? ED and EB. False. Why? Is this an answer? No. Uh, Say false because ED and EB. Not same direction. They do not have the same direction. direction. Mm -hmm. So they have different directions. For this reason, they are not equal. Okay. Now, what about the second one? EC equals to. Then home, clean up to can add on different directions. EC equals to FB. EC vector and FB vector. EC vector. FB vector. Okay. How can we know if they are equal vectors? They must have the same direction. Do they have the same direction? Yes. 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 Okay. Do they have the same sense? Yes. 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 EC and FB have the same sense. Do they have the same magnitude? Also, they have yes. the same magnitude. So what yes. do you use? So true. These two vectors are true. Equal. Why? Because they have same direction, same sense, and same magnitude. What about vectors AC and DF? False. A Y. Different sense. Different senses. Exactly. So we say false. These vectors are in fact opposite vectors. So they are opposite vectors. Now, what about AB plus CB equal to zero? Is this true? True. True or false? Let's say AB. This is AB. True, and no opposite senses. Mm -hmm. And this is CB. No. Not because they no. have opposite no. senses. They are opposite vectors. There is a difference between opposite senses and opposite yeah. vectors. Look, these two vectors, these two vectors, they have opposite senses but they are not opposite vectors. opposite vectors and they under the direction or magnitude. Exactly. So these vectors like this, in this case, they are called opposite vectors. They must have the same magnitude also. Okay? So these vectors do not have the same magnitude. So uh, we only say that they are of opposite senses, but we cannot say that they are opposite vectors. Now, a, B plus C, B is equal to zero. This is true. Why? Because the vectors are opposite vectors and their sum must be equal to zero. And you can think it or uh, you can analyze in, in many other ways. So for example, we have A, B plus C, B, right? A, B plus C, B. I can replace vector C, B by vector B, A. C, B is equal to vector B, A. Is this true? The vector yes. CB, the vector CB, true. the vector CB is the same as vector BA. They have the same direction, CB and BA. They have the same sense. This is CB to the left and BA also to the left, and they have the same magnitude. So I can replace true. vector CB by vector BA. So now I have AB plus BA. AB plus BA is equal to AA which is a zero vector. So the answer is true. true. And we can do it directly by noting that the two vectors are opposite vectors. True since they are opposite vectors. Their sum must be equal to zero. What about part E? Vector AO is equal to vector OD. Is this true or false? AO. True. True, they are non collinear. Yes, it's not enough. They are collinear. This means they, the points are, uh, or the back are same. This means they have the same direction. Also, they have the same sense, AO, OD, the same the same magnitude. Sense, and the same magnitude. So true, they are equal. What about the last part? What this 
What does this notation mean? Unit? One unit? unit no. Magnitude. magnitude. It's the magnitude of the vector. Mm -hmm. It means the magnitude. When I say magnitude of vector u, it may be equal to 3. Magnitude of vector v may be equal to 4. Magnitude of vector w is equal to 1. So when, when it is equal to 1, I say that the vector is a unit vector. But this has no relation for the notation of the magnitude. Okay, this notation, when I say like this, this means the magnitude of vector AB. So now, what is the magnitude here? Magnitude of vector AB is equal to magnitude of vector CD. Is this true or false? AB, sorry, AB and CD. Are these vectors equal? Hmm? No. As vectors. But what about their magnitudes? Their magnitude equal. equal. So, so this one is true. Because here I'm not talking about the vectors. Vector AB is not equal to vector CD because they do not have the same direction. But their magnitudes are equal. They have the same distance from A to B is the same as from C to D. So we can say that magnitude of vector AB is equal to magnitude of vector CD. They have the same magnitude, but they do not have the same direction. Clear? If I the same magnitude. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's say in the given, the figure is made up of two rhombi, two rhombus. In the A, B, C, D is a rhombus. Sorry, A, B, E, F is a rhombus, and E, B, C, D is a rhombus. And all the sides here are equal. Okay. So AB is equal to BC is equal to CD. So they have the same magnitude. Okay. Part two. Yeah. AB complete by the suitable answer. AB, AB equals to. So AB equal to vector E what? AB is equal to vector E what? ED. Exactly. We have to move the same sense and the same direction, same magnitude, we will get ED. Now, CO, the vector CO, CO is the same as vector what? F. O F. O F, exactly. Now, AB plus BC gives what? AC. 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 This AC. does not. This this fact does not need a figure. They are consecutive vectors. I can directly say the answer is AC. AC plus CO also consecutive. The answer is AO. AO. CO plus OB consecutive. The answer is CB. CB. ED plus EF are not consecutive vectors. Let's look at the figure. This is ED. And this is EF. These vectors are what? Opposite. 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 Their sum is zero. Zero vector. Excellent. What about now AB plus ED? Oh, who can add them? Vectors AB plus vector ED. Uh, we can uh, put by the ED, ABC. Uh -huh, exactly, Fazan. Let's do what? Let's replace vector, one of them, by a vector starting, for example, ED. Let's replace vector ED by another vector starting with B, YB, in order to get consecutive vectors. So I replace vector ED by a vector starting from B. Let's look at the figure. ED can replace by a vector starting from B, which is vector BC. BC. So here we get BC. Now we can add them. BB is the same. We get AC the answer. CO plus FO. Equals zero. Mm -hmm. Why? 
Opposite. O and F O also are opposite vectors. So this is equal to zero vectors. Excellent work. Let's move to the new part. Now, here we have vector AB plus vector AF. What is the answer? AE. Why? Exactly. Here we have two vectors starting from the same origin. So we can add them according to the parallelogram rule, which say that if we are adding two vectors of the same origin, then the answer will be the same, starts from the same origin A, and will be completed with the fourth vertex of their parallelogram. The parallelogram here is A, B, E, F. So the answer will be A, E, the diagonal A, E. Okay? So the answer will be AE. There's another method. Okay, this is AE. Who can solve it in another method? In fact, you can write, we have here AB plus AF. Let's try to replace AF with a vector starting from what? B. Hmm? B. B. So let's replace AF by B. a vector starting from B, which is vector B. B. E. B -E. So now B, B, A -E. B. We get AE. So the same answer. Okay. Let's go again. CB plus CD. Vector CB plus vector CD. These are two vectors having the same origin. So we'll take the diagonal. CB plus CD gives C. E. CE. CE. EB plus ED. Okay, this is EB. And this is ED. EC. EC, bravo. Finally, EF plus EB. EA. Plus EB, it's EA obeying the parallelogram rule, okay? Okay. Sorry. Let's start from this one. We have, first of all, vector CA plus vector BA. Now, minus BC becomes? CB plus, plus CB. CB, exactly plus BD, plus 2AC, plus CB. Now, what do we get? CA plus BA, I, will, I have to search for what? For consecutive vectors. Do we have consecutive vectors? No. Try to find consecutive vectors. B what? Sorry. B A and A C. They are not one A C. Ah, oh, phi two A C. So first of all, let's look at this one. C B plus C B. It gives what? Zero vector. C B plus C B. Two C B. It is two C B. Right? No, it's 2CB. And here we have 2AC. So, and the other, the rest, we have here CA, leave it. BA, leave it. And also we have BD. Now let's think about these two. 2AC two and 2CB. If we take two as a common factor, we get AC plus CB, and these vectors are consecutive, so we get CC, the answer will be what? Two? AB. AB. But what do we do with the others? Here we have CA plus BA plus BD. Do 
Do we have any consecutive vectors here? No, but look for this one. Let's flip AB. What do we get if we flip AB? Hmm? It becomes? Minus AB. Minus AB. So what do you, what we did you use? What do we benefit from this? We have here two AB. Sorry. We have two AB. Minus one AB. What do we get? A, B. A, B. So this is C, A. We get plus 1, A, B. Plus B, D. Now what do we get? Look. C, A plus A, B gives? B, B. C, B. C, B. Plus what? B, D. B, D. B, D. Now what is the final answer? C, D. What? C, D. C, D. Exactly. So the final answer is? CD. So we have to uh, follow some tricks. Let's try here. Here we have these vectors. First of all, let's switch the minus. We get vector AM plus BE plus EF plus FB plus MB. MB. Now let's search for consecutive vectors. For example, first of all, I have AM and MB. It becomes AB. AB. What else? Plus. Here we have BE and EF. BF. It's BF. Plus, still here we have FB. And now. Okay. BF or FB. Mm, BF and FB. بيعطونا BB يعني zero. Zero. They are opposite vectors. أصلاً BF FB opposite vectors. So what do we get finally? Vector AB. AB. Okay. Let's try another one. Hmm. Yeah. Any questions? No. Okay. The third one. Let's try here. What do we have? Okay. This is CD. Plus E A plus, plus what? F E F E F plus D F plus B A less B A. Ah, forgot the minus. Oh, okay. Here plus B C B C. Yalla. What do we do now? Let's look for consecutive vectors. Where do we have consecutive vectors? A B U B C A B U B C for example. We AC. AC, exactly. Are there any consecutive vectors also? CD or DF? CD. Yes, CD oh. and DF are consecutive vectors yeah. also. Yeah. So Vector. they give CF. F. Okay, what else? Still we have EA and FE. Well, FE will see F. F, E, C, F are consecutive, exactly. This one and this one are consecutive vectors. So C, F plus F, E gives C, E. C, E. Plus, what else do we have? We have E, A still e. and A, C. Yes, A. Okay. C, E and E, A. CA. CA. Plus what? AC. AC. What is the answer? Zero vector. Exactly. Yalla, I'll have to do homework. Like we did today. We'll go back to the videos and we'll solve them. Thank you very much.